So how hard is it to open a Murphy bed anyway? Well, I don't think it's that hard. I mean, you just drop that down, drop this down, drop that down, and there it is. This travel trailer is the Grand Design Imagine 21BHE. It's got an unloaded vehicle weight of just 4,698 pounds, a gross vehicle weight rating of 6,395 pounds, which gives you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,697 pounds. And the hitch weight on this one is just 456 pounds. Now, when you first walk into this travel trailer, you walk right into the living, sleeping, and kitchen area everything's kind of one big area in here but it's made really well because it's a very multifunctional floor plan and what i mean by that is this travel trailer has a murphy bed and so this is a seating area when it's in the upright position and then it'll fold down into a bed which i'll show you in just a minute but to start off with you have this nice comfy couch here and the center part of it folds down and you've even got a couple of cup holders in here. So that's a very nice design. And then below me here on each side, you've got a full extension drawer. So there's some storage space underneath of the sofa as well. You'll also notice that on each side, you've got a nice wardrobe cabinet, which is very deep. I would say two and a half feet deep. Anyway, you can hang things in there and you'll have plenty of storage space. And then you've got a couple of drawers below that for additional storage too. You've also got a night table or a end table on each end of the sofa. And then there's storage below there. And then below that, there's a receptacle on each side also. So when this does convert into a bed and you wanna charge your phone overnight or anything along those lines, you've got power on each side of the bed to do that. Now for this to convert into a Murphy bed, Grand Design has a really great setup in my opinion. Many RVs have a jackknife sofa here. You kind of have to lift the bottom and mess around with it. Grand Design, you just flip the whole thing forward. Super easy to do. Anybody could do that. And then you just pop this one latch, let this fall down, grab your mattress. It's a little easier without the plastic on it, but this is brand spanking new. You'll also notice once I flip down the bed, it's got a Serta brand mattress in here. One of the biggest complaints about Murphy beds in the past is that the mattresses were not very comfortable. This is a one piece mattress, super comfy, nice and thick, very, very comfortable. You'll also notice over top of the bed, there's a couple of reading lights and there's also a little cubby on each side, which has both a receptacle and USB ports. So you could plug in a CPAP machine, you could plug in your phone and let it charge overnight, whatever you'd really like to do. And you'll also notice there's a little storage shelf up over top. Now, right next to where the sofa is and the Murphy bed is where the TV location is. And this TV can come out a little bit and it can swing around so you can see it from the dinette. Um, you can also swing it so that you can see it better when you're laying in bed. It's not the best location that I've ever seen in a travel trailer, but it's really the only spot that makes sense in here. But with the swing arm, you know, they make the most of the location. Now, as you move around through the camper, you'll notice that we have a nice inline kitchen here. That just means everything's all in one line. It's a great kitchen setup. Right over top, they have these nice black glass doors with a little bit of storage over top. Right below that, you have a nice deep single bowl sink with a window over top, nice gooseneck faucet, and it also comes with a sprayer included. And then below that, you've got plenty of storage down below your sink. Just to the left of the sink area, you've got a little bit of countertop space, and then you have your bank of drawers for your kitchen utensils and such. And then you have a microwave oven up top. This is just a smaller microwave oven. It's not a convection oven, but it doesn't need to be. And you'll see why in just a second. You've got a three burner stove and then you have a real oven down below that. And then you've got this really nice tall drawer for pots and pans. Just next to the stovetop and microwave, you have a refrigerator. Now this is a Furion 12 volt fridge, compressor style refrigerator. It is really large has a separate freezer. It's got everything you could ever want for a small camper this size, terrific fridge. And then right next to the refrigerator, you've got two separate pantry cabinets with shelves in there so you can store all kinds of good dry food storage. 
Right across from the kitchen is where the dinette is located. But one thing I wanted to show you real quick is on the back of this dinette, there's a little spot here for all your shoes to be thrown under there. It's a really great location. You walk right in, kick your shoes under there, and they're out of the way. The dinette in here is a good size dinette. I would say you could seat two people very comfortably. Four people could squeeze on in here, but the table drops down and this can also convert into another bed inside this travel trailer. You'll also notice it's got a nice size window over top and then it's got storage. Kind of looks like an airplane storage up over top here. These doors are kind of weird. When you open them, they kind of ka-chunk, but they're designed that way. It's just how the hinges are since they're sort of in an inlay design. Now behind the dinette area, you have two really nice size bunks here. Uh, each bunk has USB ports, they each have their own lights, and they each also have windows, so you get some natural lighting in there. And then one other thing you'll notice down below the bunk, perfect spot to put Fido or anything else that you want to store underneath. So here I am inside the bathroom, and this was a really nice surprise to walk into. This is a really large bathroom for what I would call a medium-sized to smaller travel trailer. Um, it's really nice and spacious. It's even got a window in it, which you normally don't see in a travel trailer bathroom. Now, I'm standing in the shower. Uh, I would say if you're taller than 6'3", you're going to have to hunch down a bit to take a shower in here. But... It's also got a nice retractable shower door so you don't have to deal with a shower curtain blowing in and sticking to you. Also in here, there's a lot of good space, a little, little shelf for your soap or shampoo and things like that. Throughout the bathroom, you'll notice that there is a vanity top, which gives you some extended countertop space, storage down below, and then of course storage under the sink. Up top here, there's a corner medicine cabinet. You can't really see it well from where Susan is, but it's a good size corner medicine cabinet set up. And then on the commode, you'll notice that I have plenty of room either side, and then back behind me here is even more storage inside the bathroom. This travel trailer is the Forest River No Boundaries, also known as the Nobo, model number 19.3. It has an unloaded vehicle weight rating of 4,199 pounds, a very impressive cargo carry capacity of 3,351 pounds for an overall gross vehicle weight rating of 7,550 pounds. It measures in at just 24 feet, 4 inches long, but it can sleep up to 7 people. When you first walk in this RV, on the right hand side, you'll notice a nice comfy couch where the Murphy bed is located. Then you wrap around into the kitchen and dinette area and towards the back of this trailer is where the bunk beds and the bathroom are located. So right in the front of the camper is this really nice comfy couch, which is great because Murphy beds with a comfy couch are multifunctional. So you can use this space during the daytime as a nice place to hang out and enjoy your camper. And then in the evening, lower it down and set it up as your bed. And it's really, really easy to do that. And in this case, I think the bed even stays made. But all you do is sort of jackknife the sofa out. Very, very simple. Pull this D-ring. And this bottom platform just drops right down. And then your mattress drops right on top of it. Next to the bed, you'll notice on each side, there is a wardrobe cabinet with a bar up top so you can hang things in here. Down below, you'll notice that you've got receptacles and USB ports on both sides of the bed, as well as a little light switch so your cabinets light right up. Isn't that a neat little feature? So you can see in there, super easy. On each side of the bed, it has its own night light that you can turn on and off. And then back behind the bed, there are little cubbies. So there's a shelf up top and a cubby down below. So you have lots of storage space there. One other feature I think is worth pointing out is a nice big window at the front of the camper. Um, you can lower your shade at night, but at least you get a good amount of daylight in here. Um, of course, your Murphy bed will be up and it'll block the window during the day. But at night, you know, you got a nice window there. I love this Murphy bed because it's just so easy to move up and down. To put it up, you just... Pop it right up. The D-ring is actually spring-loaded, so it pops right into place. And then you just jackknife your sofa right into position. Now, underneath of the sofa, there is a lot of storage space under here. And it's got these cargo netting to hold things in place. But, 
Um, I might even get rid of the cargo netting and just make that like your shoe storage area or maybe just do that on one side and then have the other side for storage with the cargo netting to keep things from sliding around. Right next to the sofa is where the TV is located in this camper and it's really in the perfect spot. You can watch TV from your sofa or your bed while you're sleeping at night or you can also see it from the dinette so it's in a really great spot now just past that is where the kitchen is located and this is known as an inline kitchen everything is right in one line here now up top you've got a couple nice big glass inset cabinet doors that open to a big storage area down below that you've got a nice big round deep bowl sink in here with a really cool faucet this is a nice design and you just Pull this right out and that becomes your sprayer if you need a sprayer. Next to that, you've got a two burner propane stove. And then the microwave oven is located down below that. And then there's additional storage underneath of the kitchen sink. Now, one really cool feature inside this camper is that it has a central vac system. So you can hook up a hose and vacuum all around in here, or you can sweep up your entire floor. Sweep everything right into the central back down below. Right past the cooktop and everything is where the refrigerator is located. Now this is a 12 volt refrigerator and freezer. The freezer is very large and so is the refrigerator. And when I say it's a 12 volt, that means it runs on shore power or on battery power, which is great because uh, the compressor style refrigerators get colder faster and they get colder than the propane style. Now across from the kitchen is where the dinette is located. And really this is more of a two seater kind of dinette. It's just not that big where four people could sit here, but two people could sit here comfortably and the table will drop down so that this will convert into a bed. Now, I don't know how long this is. Let's check it out. So if someone was gonna sleep here, you know, they'd be, you know, 5'9", five, 5'10", five, at the very tallest. Uh, so somebody that's under 5'10 would be able to sleep here pretty comfortably. I also like the nice big window over top of the dinette table. And one really important feature to note about the location of this dinette. A lot of times this gets missed in campers and trailers and even in class A RVs. The dinette sometimes is on the wrong side of the camper. So in this camper, what I mean by that is when you look out the window on this camper, this is the door side. So this is where your campsite will be. So your view while you're sitting here at your dinette is going to be your picnic table, your fire ring, just a much better view than if your dinette was on the other side of the camper where you're going to look at your sewer hoses. So anyway, pay attention to that sort of stuff when you're trying to find a camper for you. Uh, I think it can make a little bit of a difference and it certainly gives you a much better view. Right above the nice big open dinette window, you've got three doors up here for plenty of storage up top. Finally, just beyond the refrigerator is where the pantry cabinet is located. These cabinets are really nice and deep so you can store a lot of your food stuff away. And then just behind me here is where the double bunks are located. Now these bunk beds are about 44 inches wide and they are gosh 74 inches long so you know pretty good size bunks for two kids to be able to to sleep back here they each have their own light they each have their own window and they each have their own usb ports as well now this bottom bunk also has a door that comes in from the outside so you can fold up the bottom bunk and you've got a whole bunch of storage in here and the way it would work is you actually have to open the door on the outside grab the bunk and it folds up this way towards me and then you've got this whole area to be able to store things like chairs uh, you know taller items that you need for camping and in addition to the bottom bunk folding up the inside half of the bottom bunk also has storage underneath of it so here i am in the bathroom and i'm standing in the shower like i usually am and i am gonna bet I got about six feet, four inches of space in here. And I do, six feet, four and a half inches. And I know that because I'm 5'11 and I'm in the shower quite a bit. So anyway, here I am inside of here. I like the shower door that's in here because although it's a curtain, it is on a frame of sorts. It's got this you know, frame that holds the curtain in place both on top and at the bottom. 
So the curtain really can't blow in on you while you're taking a shower. The other nice thing about this frame is that the frame actually bows out and away from the shower. So it just creates a little more space in here. Now outside of the shower is a really good sized medicine cabinet with an open shelf down below. And you've got a couple of shelves inside. Very nice setup. You have a corner style vanity sink in here with a little bit of countertop space around it. Down below that, you've got some open shelving and some additional storage underneath of the sink. As far as the elbow test goes in here, even with this door shut, I'm gonna pass the elbow test on both sides with flying colors. So we get a ton of comments from everybody that watches our YouTube videos wanting to know why we don't shoot more of the outside of the campers. There's a couple reasons for that. One, we wanna keep our tours very brief, but the other reason is we can't always get to the outside, especially when we're shooting at RV shows like we are today. This is how much space there is between one RV and the other for us to shoot the outside of this camper. We really wanna show the door that leads into where the bunks are. We just can't get quite to it. And while we're outside, it's got dual axles. This even has pass-through storage at the front of the trailer. It's really rather large in there too. This travel trailer is the Ember Overland, model number 190MDB. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 4,385 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 1,100 pounds, for a total gross vehicle weight rating of 5,485 pounds. It measures in at 22 feet, six inches long, and it can sleep up to five people. When you first walk into this camper, you'll notice on the right-hand side, you have a nice comfy couch and Murphy bed. And as you swing on around, you have your kitchen area and living area all in one. And then behind me here, you have double bunk beds, and then you have your bathroom on the other side. Here I am in the living room area and you'll notice that it's got a really nice comfy couch and it has this cool table built into it. Now these tables are really unique. We haven't really seen them designed like this in any other campers. Uh, the nice feature about them is they're super easy to take apart and move. Now there are two of these tables that come included. One can go with this couch and the other can go with the couch which is sitting across from the kitchen area but the way they come apart is really simple. You just remove the tabletop and then you just remove this brace. It's as simple as that. So you can have your dinette table in place when you wanna sit down and have a meal. You can remove it when you wanna just sit here and relax and watch some TV or when you wanna put your Murphy bed down. And speaking of the Murphy bed, let's go ahead and put it into the down position. First thing you have to do is just jackknife or unjackknife your sofa. There's a nice clip up here. You just pull this down and then you just grab your mattress. It sort of tucks up under here. You just have to pull it down and then unfold it into place. And that's really it. Your Murphy bed is all set up. And the thing that we really like about the Murphy bed setup and with the dinette here is this area has three functions. It's your bed, it's your couch, and it's also a dinette table all in one. Now, in addition to that, you've got some storage up above, and then there's also some additional storage off to the side over here. One other really nice feature is it has this skylight built in, and you can have either this screen shade in place, or you can also go with a nightshade and really darken things up in here. Also has a nice big window on the side so you can open that and get a cross breeze blowing through here. And then right next to your bed, you have this TV. Now the TV can actually swivel a couple of different directions. So you can see it from the couch, you can see it from the bed, and it's probably in the best spot possible inside this RV. There's also a little bit of extra countertop space here. There's a couple receptacles. So if this is like your nightstand next to your bed, you can plug in, charge things, run a CPAP, whatever you need. And then there's even some more storage down below. So in the kitchen area, there are some nice size storage compartments overhead. And then you've got a regular sized microwave oven. Down below that, you have a two burner cooktop. They've done a nice job and actually turned it sideways so it's a front to back cooktop. This really helps to minimize countertop space that the burners use up. And then there's really not a lot of countertop space in here anyway, so it comes with this nice sink cover. And then it's got a really huge, deep, round, single bowl sink. 
It also comes with a big gooseneck faucet overhead. Down below the sink, there's lots of room for additional storage here. And then just next to that, you've got all these full extension drawers for all your kitchen utensils that you could possibly need. Just past the cooktop area is where the refrigerator is. And there's a really nice big storage compartment up here. I mean, this thing is... Uh-oh, I just got my tape measure stuck. I'm in trouble. Ah, got it. <laughs> this thing is... Oh, two feet deep. So that's a lot of storage up there. That was a whole lot of fun. Getting <laughs> my tape measure stuck. And then you have a really nice size 12 volt refrigerator here. Plenty of room, plenty of cold storage for your RV adventures. Now, right across from the kitchen is this comfy couch. This couch also serves as three things as well. So it can be a couch or you can take the, one of the two dinette tables and set it up here and you'll have a table in front of you to eat. And it also is a jackknife sofa. And so I think one small child could pretty comfortably sleep here at night. Just beyond the love seat or sofa area, you have this really nice big window here, which is terrific, lets in a lot of light. And then over top, you have all this adorable, uh, additional storage as well. Now, just beyond the kitchen and living area are the two double wide bunks, and they are really big and spacious. Both bunks have their own window and USB ports. And the best part is the bottom bunk can fold up and there's a door in the back so you can have tall storage in here like for bicycles or when the bunk's in place you have storage underneath here i am standing in the shower in the bathroom back here and this is a good sized bathroom for a small travel trailer now i'm standing in the shower i'm 5'11 tall there's about four inches over my head when i'm standing in here so if you're six three or taller you're going to be doing a little crouching but all in all it feels pretty good you've got a spray nozzle that's easily removable and a little dish here for soap or whatnot. There's really no place to put shampoo in here, but I guess you could, I don't know, put it on the floor, do what you have to do. Uh, one other thing that I like about this shower that it is that it does have a retractable shower door so you don't have to fool with a curtain blowing in on you. Also in this bathroom, it's got a high window, which is great for being in a bathroom. You know, you can be in here doing your business, but you've got the additional lighting and you don't have to worry about anybody peeking in and seeing anything in here. Uh, also in here, it's got all this open storage right across from the commode, toilet paper holders located in there, but you could put other uh, items in here as well, extra toilet paper, toilet chemicals, whatever you need. And then you've got this really nice vanity area here. Now the vanity has a corner style medicine cabinet, so that gives you a lot of room inside for storage. And then you have a really nice size single bowl sink, and then even more storage under the sink. As far as the elbow test, it passes 100%. Great bathroom size. So here we are outside of this Ember Overlander series, and it's got an outdoor kitchen, which includes a really big griddle, which is easy to clean, easy to take care of. And it's also got a compact refrigerator to keep all your drinks and cold items nice and chilly outside. In addition, uh, the Ember series, Overlander series, comes standard with solar panels on the roof, so you can stay charged up while you're out in boondocking in the middle of nowhere. And the suspension offers some amazing features that will help you get off-road and boondock in some of the gnarliest places you can find. This travel trailer is the Lance model number 2185. It's got a unloaded vehicle weight of 4,565 pounds, cargo carrying capacity of very impressive 2,435 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds. And it measures in at 25 feet, eight inches long. Now, when you first walk into this camper, you can just feel the fact that this is a Lance camper. It's very well built, very well um, decorated. You can just feel the richness and overall quality of this camper. It's very, very nice. On the right-hand side here, what Lance has done is usually there would be a Murphy bed here, and the Murphy bed would flip up 
and then it would block this window. And then this is a jackknife sofa. You'd put the sofa down and then you could flip your Murphy bed down on top of it. What Lance has done is they've made this a multifunctional area, but instead of having the standard Murphy bed that's in the up position, this mattress just folds in half. This still jackknifes out and you just take the mattress and fold it over and you're all set. The big benefit here is you always have the benefit of this very big window in the front of your camper. Now, a couple other things to note up front here are, up top, there's a little storage shelf for some additional storage there. There are little reading lights on either side of the bed. And then on each side of the bed, it's got a really nice size end table. Both end tables have receptacles and USB ports so you can charge things in, run your CPAP, whatever you need to do. And then under each end table, there's also a shelf that pulls out for some storage there as well. Speaking of storage, each side of uh, the bed has a wardrobe cabinet with a rack up top. And these are really deep cabinets, probably close to three feet deep. You'll notice also that on each side of the bed, there's a window so you can get a nice cross ventilation going through here. The valances around the window are leather and material. It's just a very, very rich, luxurious feel. And then you've got this area with some controls, another receptacle. You even have some magazine racks built in here too. So they really try to make it, take advantage of all the space that they possibly can. The kitchen area in here is an inline kitchen setup, which we've discussed in many of our videos. It's my favorite kind of kitchen setup because everything's in a line. It's very, very easy to access. Up top here, you'll notice it has like an airplane style cabinet with a removable shelf. So you have plenty of options for stowing things up there. Just below that, you've got this neat little rack where you can store, I guess, spices and things like that that won't slide off the shelf. Next to that, we have another big storage cabinet over top of the range hood. Below that, we have a three burner stove. And then we also have the kitchen sink area. There's not a lot of countertop space in here, so it comes with these covers, which are removable. And you have a really nice size kitchen sink here. In addition to that, it comes with a gooseneck faucet and a separate sprayer. One other thing to note, since there's not a lot of countertop space, is that it does have and extend, extend a top so you can have some extra countertop space here. Down below, there's additional storage. Lance does a good job with rounding off all the edges and finishing them. And then they have these drawers that pull out. The cool thing about these is they are fully removable, so it's very convenient and easy to use them. Next to that, we have a convection oven microwave. So right next to the range and microwave, you have a good size refrigerator in here. This is a three-way fridge but a decent sized freezer and separate refrigerator. And then down below that, additional storage space for whatever you'd like to throw under there. Dinette is super luxurious in here. I feel like I'm sitting at a country club at a golf course, to be honest with you. But I mean, it's just so luxurious from the lighting, the detail in the, in the trim that goes around, all the valances and the leather material. It's super comfortable super lavish just a very nice setup this table also drops down into the u-shaped dinette so you could sleep two people in here easily you could sleep two kids in here and then on top of that lance does a nice job with these full extension drawers under each side of the dinette so you can maximize your storage next to the dinette you've got your entertainment area. So your TV would go right here, which is a good spot. You'll be able to see the TV, not only from the dinette, but also from the couch or your bed at the front of this trailer. There's also a space down below for additional charging because there's a receptacle and USB ports. You've got your built-in radio here and then additional storage down below. So here we are at the very back of this trailer, and one of the things that makes this such a great family-sized camper is that it's got its own separate access door, which is back here towards the bunks and the rear bathroom. So if the kids are running in and out of the camper, they need to use the bathroom, they don't have to run through the whole entire camper. They can come in the second door here, and they've got a vanity here and the bathroom straight across. Now the vanities are very nice size. It's got a beautiful light fixture above, it's got a nice size medicine cabinet here with all finished edges inside. A good deep vanity sink. This is the deepest vanity sink I've ever seen in a camper before. It also has this extended shelf so you have some extra countertop space. And then down below, there's additional shelf storage so you can stow toilet paper and things like that away. 
Now here I am inside the shower, which is right across from the vanity sink. And this is a decent sized bathroom for a smaller camper. Uh, I, one thing I like about this shower is it has this retractable shower curtain style door. The trim actually bows out into the room, so it keeps the shower curtain out and away from you. And it's a decent sized shower in here. I like the shower head setup because it's adjustable. You can move it up and down to whatever your height needs are. You also have a little spot in here for shampoo or soap to sit. Now, another nice feature they built in is the ladder for the bunks, which are right outside the bathroom. So it's a great place to stow the ladder in an out of the way location. And then of course, sitting on your commode, it would pass half the elbow test, but not the other half because the door would be closed. So at the very, very end of this trailer is where the bunks are. But before we look at the bunks, there's a couple of really nice, deep ones, a wardrobe closet and the other's just a storage closet, but you have plenty of storage space back here. There's also two bunk beds back here. Now this one happens to have two mattresses on it for some reason, we're at the RV show. So I guess they just threw one up here, but it does have its own window. It has a skylight and a regular light. And you'll also notice that the lower bunk has a door in the back so you can remove the lower bunk and store things like bicycles or taller objects back here. And if you have the bunk in place, you have lots of storage underneath of it. So you could put Fido in his cage under there or any other storage items that you have. If you want to see even more awesome floor plans with Murphy beds, just click the box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video.